Hello, good evening, Mr. Mauricio. Hello, Miss Sandra. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Hi, That's good. Con un tráfico espantoso. Oh, here too. Horrible. <laughs> here in Samuel, it's horrible. I think it's because of tomorrow, right? Creo que es por mañana. Por el asueto de mañana. Yes. No Todo mundo comprando flores. Y de último momento. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. That's crazy. But anyway. Seguro los demás, pues, por eso. I know. That's difficult. But anyways. We are going to wait two more minutes for the other ones. Vamos a esperar dos minutos por los demás. Okay, you guys, please, please. Okay. Thank no you. Problem. Okay, thank you, mister. Um, so, yes, something that I want to remind you, algo que quería recordarles ahora, ahora por la mañana, estuve chequeándoles un poco de el, um, la plataforma en línea y algunos, quiero ver, vamos a ver si ustedes lo que están ahorita... Well, no, you don't have any problem. Ustedes ya lo hicieron, ya terminaron las actividades. Quiero ver, Miss Lady. Hello, Miss Lady. Oh, yeah, you're good. Ustedes también, so don't worry. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. How are you, Miss? Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Sure. And nice. you? I'm good, Miss. Ready, ready. Es que, bueno, ahorita iba a mencionarles eso de, de la plataforma, pero ustedes, ustedes van bien. So don't worry, ok? So we are good with that. Porque este, hay personas que todavía no me han hecho, solo me han hecho la, la sección número 2, pero no me han hecho la sección del midterm. Y recuerden que pues para esta semana pues eran las dos, ¿verdad? So yes, just checking with that, ok? Hello, Mr. Jorge, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good Thank evening. You. Good evening. How are you, mister? Mm, nice. And you? Nice. <laughs> yeah. I am good. Good, good. Okay. Thank you for asking, mister. Hello, Miss Michelle. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Miss. Hello. How are you, miss? Fine. And you? Great. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Good, good, good. Ready to start the class. Give me one second. I'm about to share my presentation. Can you see it right now? Can you see it? Yes or no? No, yes, yes, no. <laughs> yes, okay, great. Okay, so let's just start with the class today. So today um, we are going to continue with English for our program. This is basic model number four. My name, one more time, is Lisa Rosmeyer Bravo Martinez. And today, it is Tuesday, November 1st, right? 2022. Uh, and we are going to continue with the unit number three. Vamos a continuar con la unidad número three. Número three. <laughs> and it is customer service, okay? So it would be a little bit, we are going to talk a little bit about that. Vamos a hablar un poco acerca sobre eso. And, some, and also we are going to learn some new things like... Today we are going to study a, a new tense of the English English grammar. Okay, vamos a aprender un nuevo tiempo de el pas, del pasado, okay? del inglés, que es el pasado. Okay, simple past uh, in affirmative sentences. So today we are going to learn that. El día de ahora vamos a aprender un poco acerca de eso. So you have to pay very good attention, okay, for to, to learn and practice that, right? So tenemos que poner mucha atención para poder practicar para poder eh, crear y practicar, ok, o like sentences, ok, oraciones, ok. Um, so to start, I had these activities, but we're not going to do in either of those activities, ok. Hello, Miss Rebecca, hello, Miss Andrea, ah, ok, hello, Miss Abigail, ok, let me put you oyente, ok, Miss, so we can, hello, good evening. Miss Andrea is tu oyente, Miss? I don't know, Miss Andrea, if you're as oyente or no. Okay, so right now um, we are going to do this activity that it's a little bit of bingo, okay? How is this bingo? So I'm gonna share, okay, uh, like a little of a 
link, le voy a compartir un link, because I want to practice some actions before we continue with this new tense. Pero antes de comenzar con este nuevo tiempo, quiero, record, quiero que recordemos algunas acciones o verbos que utilizamos, ok? So, um, I'm gonna send you, le voy a enviar un link, and um, this would be like a bingo card, sería como una carta de bingo, ok, que cada quien va a generarle una diferente, ok. So, you can click on the link on, on Zoom, pueden darle click ahí al, al link que aparece en el chat de Zoom, please. Y eh, pues después de eso le va a dar ahí que generar carta, generate card. Ok, so click on yes, le dan click en yes, ok. And, um, well, en generar carta, más que todo. Y les va a aparecer una cartita con varias palabras. Si se dan cuenta, if you like notice it, if you click double Double, like, double click over there, si dan doble click ahí en, en los verbos, les va a hacer una X, como que si estuviéramos jugando este bingo de manera verdad presencial. Ok, so, are you ready? And eh, I, am, I am going to be calling these phrases, yo voy a estar llamando, les voy a estar diciendo diferentes frases, ok? Are you ready? Fresh. Okay, Mr. Mauricio is ready. What about the other ones? Are you ready? Yes, miss. Okay, what about Mr. Jorge, Miss Sandra, Lady, Rebecca? Are yes. you ready? We are ready. Ready, okay. So I'm going to start with the first one. Voy a empezar. Eh, la primera es chat with family. Entonces le dan doble click y hace, le, hace un, le parece una X ahí. Ah. Cuando van a de decir bingo, cuando tengan una línea, ya sea horizontal o vertically, ok? Second one, number two, activity, do a sport. Do a sport. Next one, get dressed, get dressed, ok? Next one, go to bed, go to bed. Next one, have dinner, have dinner. Nothing, nadie tiene bingo yet. Vamos a ver. Mismo, qué línea. Cualquiera, eh, horizontal o vertically, cualquiera de esos. Pero que tienen que estar todas las, todas las acciones en una sola línea, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, next one, después de have dinner va... Okay. ¿Ah? Next one sería play video games. Play video games. Nothing? What? Okay, let's see next one. Next one will be watch TV. Watch TV. No? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, next one. La siguiente. It will be wake up. Wake up. No bingo. Okay, next one. No. Do homework. <laughs> Do homework. No do homework? <laughs> Oh my goodness, have a rest, have a rest, descanso, have a rest. No? No. Play football, <laughs> play football. Let's see next one, go swimming. Go swimming. Nothing? No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see next one. Cook. Cook. 
Bingo, really? Can you send me yes. the screenshot, Miss, for the verbs that you have, please? ¿Me podrías mandar una screenshot ahí en el grupo de las, los que marcaste, Eva, para ver si... Bien, If... ahorita. Ok, thank you. Very good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, which one? Ah, cook, yes. Go swimming, yes. Play football. Ah, bueno, play football estaba más abajo, pero anyways. Have a rest, no. Ah, yes, have a rest. Mm -hmm. And then we have wake up, watch TV, play video games. Yes, very good. It's bingo, amazing. Y los demás, no, nothing. Y nadie más. Nothing. What? Very close, teacher. Very close. Which ones you missed? I need a chat with friends oh. and or have a snack or lay the table. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver después de play the go. Después de cook, Eva. Listen, listen to music, Eva. Después de the cook. Nada. No, no. no. Listen to music. Después de listen to music, chat with friends. Bingo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Send me the picture, please, miss. Send me the yes. picture there in, in in WhatsApp. Let's see. Let's see the perps. And just me say hello, Mr. Juan Jose. Welcome. Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Welcome. How are you today? Hi, thank you. How are you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Okay, so get ready. Oh, Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss. Welcome. Chat with friends. Chat, chat with family. Did I say chat with family? Really? I don't know. I hope so. No. Ah, yes, yes, I did at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, chat with friends. Cook to sport play. Food. Yes, very good, Isa. Bingo. Very good. And now you have win. <laughs> Nothing because no points, <laughs> but very good job, excellent job, excellent. Thank you for winning and doing your best. Okay, now let's continue in uh, with the next activity. Before we continue, um, um, we are going to do this that is called show me, show me. Okay, what is going to be this? I am going to say some numbers. Okay, esto se llama show me, show me. Y como que, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer? Yo le voy a decir un número y ustedes me lo van a mostrar con sus manitos. Y quien se equivoque, le vamos a hacer una pregunta de la clase de ayer. Okay, so remember, like this, show me one. So you're going to do it like this. Show me two. Y van a hacer así, así. Me tienen que mostrar los números, o sea, los números con sus manitos, obviamente. No con los pies. No, you cannot do that. Don't worry. Uh, just fingers, okay? Fingers, no toes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Show me five. Uh -huh. Show me three. <laughs> ¿Por qué lo piensa? What do you think about it? Show me two. Hmm. <laughs> show me zero. <laughs> okay, show me ten. Okay, uh -huh. what happened, Mr. Mauricio? Only five? This is me. Five? Ah, okay. Mm, I don't know about that, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, next one. Show me... Uh, let's see, seven. Oh, Miss Lady, you are the last one. And Miss Lady fue la última. Let's see, Miss Lady. Tell me, what do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué recuerdas de la clase de ayer? What do we do? I remember mm -hmm. is the... Mm -hmm. 
What do you remember? Una cervecera en inglés. ¿Qué es en inglés? En, en español. No, it has to be in English. Remember um, one okay, word, okay. one word, okay. una palabra. Okay. Uh -huh. um, bueno, a la... Bueno, se lo voy a decir porque no sé cómo se hace el Ajá. inglés. Ajá. Bueno, hablamos de las... ¿De qué? Um, así como cuando uno va a, a devolver algo. Ajá, refuse. Entonces las posibles Ajá. aceptaciones y las que podían rechazar el... Refusing and accepting. Ajá. 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 What else? Um, no, but that's perfect. You are good. Okay, that that's okay, Miss Lady. You are good. You, you need something. Good. Yeah. Okay, show me, show me one. And what happened to Miss Michelle and Miss Sandra? You are going to have penitence right now because you, no, I'm no sorry. Worry. <laughs> show me, show me eight. Eight. Hmm. Show me three. <laughs> okay, show me two. One. Okay, show me nine. Nine, nine. Okay. <laughs> show me two. One. Three. One. No, Miss Esmeralda. She was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, Miss Esmeralda. <laughs> Tell me what do we what do we use to express that we want something? ¿Qué es lo que utilizamos para expresar que queremos algo? What's the word that we use? Wool. Word, exactly. Another phrase that we use for for like when we want something, otra frase que podemos utilizar cuando queramos algo. May. Aparte, I'm sorry. May. Mm -mm. Maybe. That's for possibility, remember, okay? Maybe. Right. What about would you like, right? Would and would you like, right? That was like the two would phrases. Like. Exactly. Very good. And thank you, everybody. Don't worry. You're good. Now, let's see. In this, now we are going to continue. Vamos a continuar, okay? And we are going to do attendance section. Vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. And please say presente, okay? Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Wait a second. Andrea Amalia. Dania. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wait a second. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Wait. Can alguien be giving someone a message? Okay. Thank you, Miss Abigail. Pero creo que es mi Abigail Ponía. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Juan Jose. Presente. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Mi Rebeca. Mi Rebeca. Oh, está de oyente, dice. Ok. Eh, Okay, Miss, ya la vi, ya la vi. Thank you, no problem. Present teacher. Uh, thank you. Sandra Abigail. Oh, ya me dijo presente en el chat. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle. Present Miss. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. So give me one second. Okay, very good and thank you for doing so far all of the activities. Gracias por hacer todas las actividades hasta el momento. You are done very good and lo han hecho muy bien. Okay, let's continue. Something that I want to remind you, este, algo que les quiero recordar, es que al momento de hacer la asistencia, yo sé que algunos están de oyentes, pero este, por lo menos tienen que decir presente porque pues recuerden para la asistencia es muy importante. 
Ok, tal vez no pueden encender la cámara, pero tienen que decir presente, ok, porque el chat, lastimosamente, cuando chequean su asistencia, porque la vuelven a chequear en el video, no van a ver el chat, sino que van a escuchar sus voces, chicos, ok, a los que están de oyentes, ¿verdad? Entonces, si están de oyentes, deben de eh, activar el micrófono en el momento y solo decir oyente, ok. Eh, a mí, decir presente, quiero decir, I'm sorry, uh, para que, pues, eh, se Conozca que ustedes por lo menos están, me están escuchando, ¿ok? Aunque no es, o sea, estén haciendo otra, otra actividad, ¿ok? Pero están escuchándome. And so, yes. Um, otra cosa que recordarles es el, eh, la plataforma. Ahora en la mañana estuve, che estuve chequeando. Hello, Miss Dilcia. Welcome. Buenas noches, teacher. Yo acabo de entrar. Eh, estaba, bueno, estoy un poquito mal. Ok. Eh, de, de la presión le ah. contaba a una de las compañeras que hace poco me di cuenta que estaba embarazada y pues es un embarazo un poquito complicado porque son gemelos oh, y se me sube y se me baja la presión bien, entonces me acabo de conectar y ya estaba tomando asistencia Ah, no problemis, pero la escuché uh -huh. cuando dijo presente sí, usted, uh -huh. me dijo, usted sí me dijo presente, ¿verdad? Ajá, se salió se oír, pero no, ajá Sí, Entonces eh, creo que usted no me escuchó. Sí, sí, sí la puse, se la puse. Y ahorita intenté entrar otra vez y ya pude entrar bien. Ok, Miss, no hay problema. Sí, pero sí se la puse. Thank you, Miss. Uh -huh. sí, aunque sea oyente, usted me avisa cualquier cosa ahí en el chat o me avisa por WhatsApp. No problem, Miss, ok. Gracias, Titi. Uh, bueno, ok. So, as I was telling you, la plataforma es muy importante. Ya eh, envié el reporte para que cambiaran pues las dos preguntas que teníamos problemas con el would like, ¿verdad? Porque le salía malo. Ya envié el reporte. And so, espero que pues lo hayan hecho el cambio. Así es que si no han hecho el midterm y la sección 2, please try to do it today. Tratemos de hacerla ahora porque después se nos va a juntar también la sección 3, ¿verdad? Y recuerden, ahí había algunos también que ya la terminaron. Perfect, very good, Mr. Mauricio, Mr. Juan José, me parece que fue otra, o el otro persona. De ahí creo, no me acuerdo quién más, pero hay varios que ya, ya terminaron hasta la sección 3. That's amazing, thank you. And so, today we are going to continue with that. El día de ahora vamos a continuar con eso, con la unit number 3, ¿ok? En unit number 3, As I was telling you, it would be about the past. Okay, vamos a aprender un poco acerca del pasado. That's amazing, right? And ready? But first, I have a question. Why do customers call? When you have a call, why do they call you? Cuando les llaman, ¿para qué les llaman? Can you tell me why? For what do they call? Can you tell me, please, any idea? To ask for help. Okay, to ask for help. Very good. Any other um, answers, ideas? Re report any problem. Report problems. Very good. Anything else? Uh -huh. Vamos a ir escribiéndolas acá. Uy. Report problems. Ask for help. Anything else? ¿Por qué llaman los... Uh, o sea, los customers, why? When I need um, other service or, or uh, other plan, for example, when uh, in my case, for example, when I, I, I have a plan mm -hmm. for the cell phone. Uh -huh. And when I need the other plan, uh -huh. I call the customer service. Uh -huh. So you call the customer service when you need to change the plan, right? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, very good. Any other ideas? To ask uh, information. Ah, ask for information. Exactly. Basic, básicamente eso es lo que dice el ministro, ¿verdad? para cambiar y por, obviamente para pedir información sobre algo nuevo. Very good. Ask for information. Anything else? Can you buy some services or product. Sorry? Buy. Buy for some services or product. Exactly. Buy some service or products. Excellent. Thank we you. We need uh, update information. Update. 
Ah, update, exactly. Update information about them, right? It's true. Nowadays, that is very common. Yo me acuerdo que antes no era tan común esto, pero ahora en día se ha hecho muy importante eso de update information. Me imagino es por los scams, por los... Por los um, diferentes tipos de fraudes que hay, ¿verdad? Me imagino que están haciendo siempre update in the information because of that. And so, yeah, in here, in the manual, we have other ideas, okay? And here it says, we have, uh, for example, wait, let me, let me make this closer for you. Give me one little because I want to take these bookmarks. They are too big. Okay, so as you can see here, we have another one. Uh, what do they do? Or in here we have pick up the phone. Oh, these are right what the customers and company representatives do. Okay, these are some of the activities that you may see in a company. Estas pueden ser algunas de las actividades que podemos ver en una compañía en un lugar. En una oficina, ¿verdad? Eh, hay ciertas cosas, actividades de esas que les voy a mencionar que las hacen los customers y another ones that do companies rep representatives, right? And for example, pick up the phone. Remember, pick up the phone. Understand, explain, complain, help, request information, right? Get prices, provides one's information, assist. Buy, call, and receive. How do you uh, do? You have any questions for this vocabulary? Yes. Uh, what meaning provide uh -huh. one's information? Ah, like you say, Miss, like information about a person, como proveer información sobre una persona. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. How do you say, uh, like, contestar el teléfono in English? It would be, hmm, how do you say that? How do you say that in English, everybody? Pick up the phone. Exactly. Ayuda? How do you say ayuda in English? Help me. Ah, ayuda. Hmm. Help. 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 Uh -huh. Comprar yes. in English. How do you say comprar in English, everybody? Buy. Uh -huh. How uh -huh. do you say? Buy. Uh -huh. eh, pedir información in English. How do you say? Request information. Request information. Yeah. Yes, very good. Assistir in English. How do you say it? Assist. Assist. Uh, assist. Yes, very good. How do you say? Quejarse. Complain. Yeah, uh -huh. complain. Recibir in English. How do you say it? Receive. Receive. Okay. Receive. Uh -huh. How do you say entender in English? Understand. Understand. And how do you say llamar in English? Oh. Call, exactly. Now, as you can see, these are some of the activities that companies do. And some of them, some of the activities customers do them, but some companies representative. What do we have to do? We have to complete the information for customer and we have to complete the company's representatives, okay? So right now we are going to do that. And customers. Which ones do customer? Pick up the phone. I'm sorry? Pick up the phone. Pick up the, for the customer, mister? Are you sure? Mm. Complain. Ah, complain. Ah, complain. complain. Que se queja, vea, el customer. Very good. Complain, okay. What else? Que más hace el customer? Buy. Get information. information. Ah, buy. Get prices. Get prices. Uh huh. What else? Request information. Uh huh. Request information. Excellent. What else? Uh, 
call. Call. Mm -hmm. Anything else? For the customer? Anything else for the customer? What maybe, about? Uh -huh. Maybe receive. Receive. Hmm. Receive. Receive. I, I don't think I think it's receive for the company's representative. What about the company's representative? Explain. Explain. Definitely right. They explain things. What else? Provide one's information. Ah, provide. Provide once, oh, I'm sorry. Once information, yeah. What else? Pick up the phone. Definitely pick up the phone. Anything else? Help. Help, uh-huh. What else? Assist. 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 Yeah, it's very good. Anything else? Receive. Receive again. Receive. Yeah, right. Because they receive calls, right? Si, sí, reciben los dos calls, maybe, or things. What else? Can me give a explain? Oh, I'm seeing like. I'm sorry. Understand. Understand. Definitely. Very good. Wait. Let me see if I can edit this one. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, I know. Okay, it's a. Give me one second. Oh, there. Understand? You say, Miss? Yes. Okay, understand. Uh huh. I think that's it, right? Yeah, that will be all the activities they do, right? With customers and the clients, right? Eso serían las actividades que realizan en una like company, right? The customers and the representatives. Now here, we have some questions as you can see here. And it says choose the department where you work in in, in a friend explain uh, to a partner what activities do you do there? Like for example, what customers call for? Oh, we already did this. Dijimos que los customers call to complain, call for help. They call for what else you say? For, for information. Request information. Uh-huh, for request information. Yes, very good, wait. I'm sorry, wait, request information and what was the last call you had about? Ah, now everybody here, do you have a cell phone? Um, well, not a cell phone. Yeah, cell phone or uh, like a telephone in your work? Tienen un teléfono ahí en su trabajo? Levanta la mano. Levanta la mano. Yes. Everybody, everybody has. Okay, cell phone or phone like in your, okay. Now, what was the last call about? De qué trataba la última llamada que recibieron? For example, for me, Yes, Miss Andrea? Yes? For example, for me, the last call was about a TOEFL course, okay? For a TOEFL course. And so, because I am a teacher, as you know, for English. So it was about a TOEFL course and no, for an exam from the embassy. So that for me and for you, what was the, yes, for the embassy. <laughs> so for you, what was the, the last call? Yes, Mr. Mauricio, tell me. Uh, mm -hmm. but I call me mm -hmm. by no work tomorrow. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Nice. That those are calls that I'm yeah. happy for you. <laughs> yeah, you're happy yes, for you. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yes, nice. Uh huh. What about the other ones? What was the last call about? Tell me. Tell me. I want to know. <laughs> Tell me. Mm -hmm. What what was like something or maybe in a text in WhatsApp or 
But a customer, remember, a customer, not you as a company, a customer. What was the last thing that the client or somebody asked you? ¿Qué fue lo último que un cliente o, o eh, un, una persona que llega a tu, a tu trabajo te dijo o te envió un mensaje o te llamó? Or what was the last thing? Uh -huh. To celebrate a meaning on Tuesday. Oh, mm. nice. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so it was to, to celebrate the, the, the reunion, I, I guess. Very yes. good. Nice. Thank you. What about the other ones? One more opinion, Mr. Juan Jose, Mr. Jorge, lady. Okay. How do you say capacitar? Worship. Worship. Uh huh. A new coworker called me today, mm -hmm. and we are we were talking about the how do you say worship? Okay, I'm gonna about worship because uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. uh, he is new, and oh. he asked me about. Oh, so you are going to give a worship to him or her? I don't know. To him. Ah, okay, to him. Okay, so it's a worship. That's great. Okay, thank you. Yeah, perfect. So you're we're talking, talking about a worship. Excellent. So everybody, I think you had a call from your family, from customers, from clients, for anybody, right? Now, as you can see, this was in the morning, maybe in the afternoon. Como ustedes saben, pues esa llamada tal vez fue en la tarde, en la mañana, la última llamada que tuvieron, ¿verdad? The customer or the client. Now, it was in the past, right? And that's the topic that we are going to study, okay? Y eso sería el tema que vamos a estudiar. Solo voy a enviar la palabra que le acabo de decir al minister, workshop, para que no se nos olvide que eso significa capacitación o capacitar, workshop, okay? Como también taller. Es eso, like same word para talleres o taller de donde llevamos el carro. Se llaman workshops in English, okay? Uh, okay, so simple past. In simple past, okay, I don't know, we already did that. Simple past, we have two types of verbs, okay? We have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs, okay? And first of all, we are going to start with a regular verbs, okay? Um, remember that past tense, we are going to use it to talk about the past. As you can see here, vamos a utilizar el, el tiempo en pasado eh, y para hablar sobre cosas que sucedieron antes del ahora, obviously. Como pueden ver acá, aquí está eh, today, vea, que representa ahorita y después tenemos yesterday, ayer, last week, la semana pasada, last month, el mes pasado, last year, el año pasado, two years ago, dos años atrás, 2017, en 1985, and all, it could be hours, right? O puede ser horas atrás, ¿verdad? And so, y también, Aclarar que tenemos dos tipos de verbos en pasado, regular verbs and irregular verbs. We are going to start with regular verbs. Vamos a empezar con un poquito y una práctica de los regular verbs. For this, I'm going to give you some homework as well besides the platform. Nos vamos a dar un poquito más de tarea el día de ahora para que podamos practicar los verbos, ¿ok? Because they are super important in the past tense, ¿ok? So, to talk about the past, we need these two types of verbs. Necesitamos estos dos tipos de verbos, los regular verbs and the irregular verbs, okay? So, the first one, we are going to go with regular verbs that the first rule is that we are going to add ed when the, when, well, well it will be for most of the verbs. Vamos a utilizar y agregar una ed a la mayoría de los verbos. Por eso quería hacer un pequeño repaso al inicio para que recordáramos algunos verbos. Y aquí está el primero, miren. Tenemos watch. Recuerden, a la mayoría de los verbos solo se les agrega ed, at, ed. For example, watch sería watched. Okay. We have a little bit of a different sound. Ajá, uh -huh. watched. Okay. Watched. Ajá. Uh -huh. We don't say watch it, okay? It's washed, okay? It's washed. like a little bit of shh, okay? Washed, okay? That's the first one, watched. And then next one, ahora tengo un poquito de práctica. Bueno, wash sería watch. Then we have this one, play sería? Everybody? 
played. 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 Uh -huh. Very Play. good. Talk. Talk. Talked. Talk. Talked. Uh -huh. Start. Started. Yes. Very good. Started. Very good there. Then we have this one. Cook. Cook it. Cooked. Uh -huh. Cooked. 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 Don't worry, you can pr practice repetition with me, okay? Uh, then we have walk. 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 Yeah. Walked. Very Walk. good. Walk. Yes, very good. Excellent. Let's see next one. Learn. Learn it. Exactly. Learned. Wash. Was. Washed. 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 Okay. Washed. Let's see next one. Ah, okay. Vaya, la may porque recuerden, la mayoría de los verbos le vamos a agregar ed, okay? Second rule. Second rule is that when we have a verb, cuando tenemos un verbo que termina en e, okay? Let me mute you. Lo vamos a silenciar un ratito, okay? A todos. Give me one second. Okay. Cuando termina un verbo en e, okay, we are going to add d. Vamos a agregarle una d. Como por ejemplo aquí tenemos like. Miren, termina en e. Vea que es gustar. Entonces para hacerlo en pasado, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Le agregamos la e. Entonces sería liked, okay? Liked. Let's see another one. Vamos a ver otro verbo. Like with liked. Close sería. Uh -huh. Close. Closed. Closed. Okay. Closed. D. D. Okay. Smile. Smiled. Smiled. D. Uh -huh. Smiled. Raise. Raised. Raised. Ajá, uh -huh. raised, exactly, raised. Si practicamos pronunciación, van a ver que poco a poco se nos va a ir haciendo súper fácil, ¿ok? Raised. raised. Bake. Bake. Mm -hmm. Baked. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Baked. Ok, third rule. Ahora, recuerden, vea, segunda regla. Cuando termina en E, le agregamos una D, ¿ok? That's it. Next one. When we have verbs, cuando tenemos verbos que terminan en Y, en consonant, okay, consonant en Y, consonante y una Y, vamos a quitar esa Y y vamos a agregar ED, como por ejemplo cry, sería cried, okay, cried. Miren, entonces eliminamos esta Y. Please pay attention because it's super important, okay. Entonces nos quedaría cried. Next one. Oh, cry, cry. Fry, sería? Mm -hmm. Fry. Yes, fried. Okay, next one. Try. Try. Uh -huh, tried. Very good, Miss. Carry. Carry. Yes, carried. Very good. Let's see next one. Study. Sería? Study. 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 Exactly. Very good. Study. Let's see next one. Worry. Worry it. Worry. Uh -huh. Worry it. Worry it. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay. Number four. When we have, cuando tenemos un verbo that ends in vowel and consonant and, wait, it would be vowel, consonant, vowel. I don't know why it says like this. Well, we have a consonant, we have a vowel, and we have a 
consonant. Okay? Cuando tenemos una consonante, vocal consonante, vamos a duplicar la última consonante. Okay? Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos stop. And so it will be. Duplicamos, miren, la última consonante, la que tenga el verbo. Entonces aquí sería stop, stopped. Bueno, no sería stop it. Ok, no, es stopped. Ok. Then, wait. recuerden, tenemos la este, consonante, vo, wait, déjenme marcar acá, consonante, vocal, consonante, duplicamos la última consonante, que en este caso es la P y le agregamos ED. Siempre ED, porque son regulares, verbos en pasado y, y re, regulares, ok. Let's see, for example, por ejemplo, tenemos, uh, stop, stopped. Plan sería. ¿Cómo sería? What do you think? Plan. 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 E -D -U. Y acá en la anterior era P, bueno, en estas casi siempre son P, pero acá era una N, ¿ve? era plant. Ok, questions so far? Questions, questions? Or no questions? No questions. Ok, what are we going to do right now? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Les voy a mandar una lista de verbos y quiero que escriban, elijan. Ok, this ones. Ok. Les voy a mandar una lista de verbos y van a elegir alguno de esos verbos. No sé por qué no puedo copiar. What is happening? Okay, there. I, I have it, I have it. So, you are going to rewrite. Vamos a reescribir five of these verbs, okay? Give me one second. Uy. Okay, so there we have them. You're going to rewrite five of these verbs, okay? Using the rules, utilizando las reglas. Recuerden, ¿cuál es la primera regla? Let's see. What, what is the first rule? Uh -huh. Al ir. A, a la mayoría de los verbos se les agrega ed, ¿verdad? Very good. Second rule. What is the second rule? If a regular verb ends in e, e. Uh -huh. use as d. Uh -huh. Si termina en e, le agregamos la d. Number three. What is the third rule? If the if the bear and uh -huh. why uh -huh. replace for I E D. Exactly. Si termina en J, replace I E D for in the last one. A vowel between two consonants. Exactly. When we have a consonant vowel consonant like plant, cuando tenemos esta regla de consonante vocal consonante como plant que es N A L, vamos a duplicar la última consonante. Por ejemplo, sería plant y le agregamos ed, ¿verdad? Plant. Okay. In the list, the list that I just sent, en la lista que les acabo de enviar, I want you to select five. Quiero que elijan Five, okay, and then when you select five, cuando ya lo hayan seleccionado cinco, van a escribir the past and the uh, the present and the past. Sorry, okay. ¿A dónde lo mandó, teacher? In WhatsApp, Mister. Okay, thank okay. you. No problem. Okay, so let's do it. We'll select five, remember. Select five. Okay. 
I'm gonna give you five minutes so you can finish this, okay? Finish. Number five, right? Don't send in the chat because we are going to do Okay, Mr. Mauricio. Hmm, okay. Thank you, Mr. The first ones, no. Los, no. Dos primeros, no. Play. Mm, no. Porque ese, mire, tenemos ahí. Ah, esa es una excepción, Mr. That's an exception. Bueno, aquí los tenemos igual, ya lo vamos a hacer por acá, aquí los tengo ya ready for you. You're going to do them. Wait a second, quiero ver si pueden. Y listen, solo se le agrega ed, ed, ed mister. Uh -huh. pero pero consonant vocal consonant pero este um, this how can I explain this to you it's because it's not stress es porque este verbo no es stress no tiene una mayor entonación de voz ahí y okay. uno dos este es una excepción ok ok ajá uh -huh. Okay. Let's say open, really? Uh huh. Open. Yes, it's another one. Open. Solo se le agrega ed. Just that. Este también no es una excepción, teacher. Mm, yes, it's an exception. It's an exception. Mm, I am. I think. Oh, I know. The play is la why considerar vowel, se considera como vocal. No, 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 es porque es play es, una, es un verbo que no está estresado, o sea, no tiene una mayor entonación de voz, no, es, no, es, no se estresa el play ni el stay, entonces por eso solo se les agrega ed, ok, play, ok, play, enjoy, Está también stay. Cry. No, cry, sí. Cry, sí. Escribe. Ajá. Se cambia IED. Okay. Cry. Mm -hmm. That one, yes. Teacher. Yeah. Yo pensaba que no se le agregaba, no se le cambiaba por la I latina porque antes sería una vocal. No sé si estoy equivocada. Yes, that's also true, Miss. Very good. Sí, porque las reglas que les comentaba únicamente eran las siguientes. Vea. 
La primera es que la mayoría solo se les agrega ED. La segunda es que cuando termine en E, vamos a agregarle una D, ¿verdad? La tercera era que cuando termine en Y, este, eh, y en una consonante, en una Y y una consonante, eso me faltó ahí, es que termina en IED. Y en cambio play, mire, antecede la Y, le antecede una vocal. Eso es lo otro que dijo la misma ahorita. Entonces, por eso sería play. ¿Ok? Después, la última es, y acá miren cry, la diferencia es que está la Y, pero la antecede una consona. consona. Entonces, por ende, se elimina esta Y y se le agrega I, E, D. Pero también se aplica lo de la... El verbo estresado, la like consonant, es, no tiene tanta mayor fuerza de voz el play. En cambio, cry, cry, hasta sube la voz cuando dice cry, ¿ok? Esa es, eso es otra explanation. ¿Ok? Ok, let's see. Here, as you can see, como pueden notar por acá, tengo todos los verbos que les acabo de mandar ahí en el chat box. What are we going to do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ok. So we are going to write, vamos a escribir por acá el, la, eh, la, corre, la regla correcta. Ok. Todos van a tomar un turno y lo van a escribir. Mr. Mauricio, no sé si usted, ya les activé ahí que puedan todos escribir. Eh, intente, Mr. Complay, si puede. No. Con play, no, no puedo. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo era play en regular? Dígame, mister, yo lo escribo. Es player. Ajá, player. Very good. Next one, Miss Abigail. Mejía. Yes, please, Miss Mejía. Ok, sorry. No problem. Um, studies? No, eh, este sería Miss. Listen, ¿cuál es, lo, ¿cuál es el pasado de Lise? Ah, ok. Lise. Exactly. ED, right? Let's see. Yeah, excellent. Miss Abigail Bonilla. Ahora sí, Miss Abigail Bonilla. Ah, ahí está mi sabiduría. ¿Sí puede escribirme? Ah, sí, a la vi que está escribiendo. El siguiente, Miss. Hágame el de Hurry, please. What? Why are you so big? <laughs> Oh my god, la mía es la mía si quiere que no tenemos el de listen. Wait, quiero borrar y no me deja. Oh, there. Okay, so it would be eliminamos. The change. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And then, what do we do? E. Uh, I. E. D. Exactly. Very good. The next one. Mr. Uh, it would be, no, Miss Sandra. Miss Sandra, next one, phone. Phone. What happens? ¿Qué es lo que sucede? Solo le agregamos la D. Yes, very good. Next one. Miss. Francisco, hello, mister. Like. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. I connecting in the telephone mobile because I working. I only like listen. Oh, okay. So, oyente, right now. That's okay, mister. No problem. Uh, let's see, mister Jorge Antonio, then. Next one. Mr. Jorge Antonio, are you there, mister? Tell me, teacher. Uh, this one, like, mister. Like. Uh -huh. Like. Yes, liked. Very good. Next one, Mr. Juan Jose Plan. No sé si 
uh, planned. Uh -huh. Planned. Next one. Wait, I don't know if I can make it like this. Next one, Mr. Miss Lady. Wait, Miss Lady, let me move because I cannot move. <laughs> Jump. Jumped. R -A -E uh -huh. D. Exactly. Very good. Next one, Miss Michelle. Wash. Watch. Yes, very good. Watch it. Next one. Miss Re ah, mi Rebeca. Are you oyente, right, Miss Rebeca? Ya no, ya estoy uh, en mi casa. Okay, great. Finish. Finish. Exactly, very good. Finished. Excellent. Okay, uh, volunteers for the next one. Voluntarios para lo siguiente, because remember we have, you have to participate by yourselves, right? Because you haven't done it. So tell me. Mm -hmm. Work. Aha. Uh -huh. You did, right? Yeah. Excellent. Next one. Lived. At D. Which one, mister? Lived. Lived. Okay. D. Mm -hmm. Next one. Si pueden escribir, perfect. Stay, ¿cómo sería? Ahí ya les apliqué ahí para que puedan escribir, pero I don't know if you can do it. No sé si lo pueden realizar. If you can do it, that would be perfect. Si pueden realizarlo, pues, perfect. Oops. Oh, thank you, Miss, sir. Miss, Miss Abigail Bonilla is writing something there. Hey. I'm sorry. Okay, Miss Abigail Bonis. Oh, Esmeralda, too. Thank you, Miss Esmeralda. Cry, cry. Very good. Excellent. Okay, and the other ones, Miss Rebecca, thank you. Miss Esmeralda, and what happened to the other ones? Y los demás, what are you? Carried, very good, Miss Kenya. Miss Abigail Bonilla there, it's completing everything there. Very good. I only missing Carrie. No me lo han puesto por ahí, Carrie. Aha, thank you, Miss Rebecca. Very, very good. Wow. That was perfect so far, you guys. I don't know if you have any questions so far. Tenemos alguna duda pregunta hasta el momento with the verbs. Dance, aquí está. W T, really? Yes, exactly. Double T. Why? Because we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Sí, porque tenemos doble consonante, eh, vocal, consonante. So, yes. Any other questions? Igual que hope, aquí estaba hope. Eh, doble P. And stop, verdad? Double P as as well. So open. Ah, aha. open. Mm, open, no miss. Uh -huh. No, no, no. So sería así. está open? Ya no lo veo. Oh, here. No, it's only E T. In the other one. Okay, so I think we're good with this one, right? So 
questions or so we're I think we're good with that now how or for what do we use these regular verbs para que los utilizamos so basically we create sentences in the past right I'm sorry for example here we have uh work work it's trabajar right but in past what happens with add ed and then we can conjugate in here we have can you help me to read please miss esmeralda because you haven't participated miss i forgot about you so can you help me with this reading read the sentences please all right hmm? i work out uh-huh you you work out uh-huh he work out uh-huh she work out mm -hmm. it it Work it. Mm -hmm. We work it. Uh huh. You work it. Uh huh. And they work it. Exactly. Very good. As you can see, that's how we create a sentence. So, for example, we can say, uh, also, I can you remember one verb from the list that we just study? Me podrían recordar un verbo de los que acabamos de estudiar por ahí que acabamos de hacer. Can you remember? Watch. Ah. Watch. Ah, listen. I listen. I'm sorry. Listen to music. Ah, yo escuché música, right? I, well, not use why. Uh, I, sorry. Maybe we can say he watched. Why? What, mister? He watched what? New. News. Oh, very good. Anything else? Let's see. They. Another verb, please. In pass. Regular? Open ah, the door. Exactly. Open the door. Something that I want to remind you and to tell you is that with the past, con el pasado, podemos utilizar algunas también expresiones de tiempo, ¿ok? Para eh, tener un poco más claro qué es acerca del pasado. Por ejemplo, time expressions. Some of them, algunas de esas expresiones de tiempo son... Ah, ya les había explicado. Night. Ajá, last night, ya me acordé. Last month. Last year. Ajá, last year, ajá. Ayer, ¿cómo yeah. se dice? Ayer. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Eh, the day before yesterday. Ajá, the day before yesterday. Last week. Last week, exactly. Anoche, ¿cómo se dice anoche? Last night. Last night. Last night. Last night. Very good. Two okay. Year ago. Ah, a year ago. Exactly. A year ago. Entonces, estas oraciones que ustedes me acaban de dar, las bien las podremos este, complementar. Vea, por ejemplo, I listened to music yesterday. Okay. Or maybe we can say he watched news last night. Ok, para hacerlo un poco más específico que estamos hablando del pasado, ¿vea? o también podemos decir, they opened the door yesterday. I mean, eh, it could be last week. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. only encerrados. <laughs> ok, so like that, ok. So that would be for the sentences, ok. That's for the regulars, ok. Now let's go with the irregular verbs. In the irregular verbs, one more time, remember that it's to talk about the past, right? Para hablar sobre el pasado, ¿verdad? Y aquí hay algunas expresiones de tiempo. Ahora bien, what is the difference for the irregular verbs? They change completely, ¿ok? Cambian completamente, ¿ok? These verbs. Uh, and uh, here are some of the rules. Y aquí tenemos algunas de las reglas que de hecho se los voy a estar preguntando, ¿ok? Todos los verbos que vamos a ver el día de ahora se los voy a preguntar. De repente vamos a hacer una actividad, ya les voy a explicar cómo, que se lo voy a estar preguntando. And so, the first one. Go. As I told you, they change. So go in the regular past, it will be? Oh. Yes. When. Went. Went. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué sería went? Porque los irregulares, los verbos irregulares, tenemos los regulares, porque se le agrega ed, o ed, o ied, y los irregulares cambian completamente. No es que le vamos a agregar ed, no, cambia. En ese caso, go sería went, ¿ok? Mm. Then we have another one. See, the past, it would so, be so. Go. Very good, amazing. Come, past, 
came. Came. Amazing. Read. Red. 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 Amazing. Thank you. Right. Same writing. Wrote. Wrote. Ah, okay. In this one, read. Read, leer, y en pasado sería red, como el color, ¿ok? Recuerden yeah. eso, red, 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 como el color red. rojo, se pronuncia, pero se escribe igual, ¿ok? Read y red, ¿ok? Next one, write. Wrote. Yes, wrote. Wrote. Meet. I don't know. Mm. Met. Exactly, met. Okay, then we have eat. Eight. 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 Very good. Excellent. Drink. Drunk. 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 Amazing. Buy. Both. But. Exactly. But. Is. Was. Was. O, bueno, yo creo que se parece al otro. Or what? Vaya, exactly. Vaya, en este caso, el verbo to be, básicamente, vea. El verbo to be tenemos dos. En presente sería is y el are, vea. En pasado sería was, was y were. Ajá. Ah, también faltó. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. So remember this, ok. So, for is sería el was y para el are sería where. Te voy a explicar un poco más acerca de eso, don't worry. Make, it would be? Made. Made, exactly. Made. Very good. Sleep. Slept. 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 Amazing. Where? Or. Wow, amazing. Win? One. 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 Thank you. Cut? Cut. 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 The, El same. Mismo. Uh -huh. the same, right? Very good. Okay. Now, what happens with the irregular verb sentences? Well, it's same, right? We use the verb and then we use a uh, subject. Can you help me to read, please, these sentences? Uh, it would be Miss Sandra. Help me to read, please. Speak. And then all the sentences, Miss. Can you help me to read, please? Read. Yes, please. This and this. I speak. Mm -hmm. I spoke. Uh -huh. Do I spoke. Yeah. He spoke. She uh -huh. spoke. It spoke. Uh -huh. We spoke. You spoke. They spoke. Amazing, thank you. So basically what we do in this case is that we have a subject, okay? And then we have the verb, the irregular verbs that I just eh, show you, okay? Básicamente lo que se hace es que ten, utilizamos un sujeto, ve, y de ahí un verbo de los que les acabo de mostrar, más una expresión de tiempo que les también le mostré hace un ratito, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, we can say, she, can you remember one verb in past, for example, for uh, what's the verb for, oh, is in past? Was. 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 Ah, she was happy ayer. It would be? Yesterday. Yesterday, Yesterday exactly. Miren, acá tenemos eh, subject she, a verb to be in past was, and then we complete, right? Now, for example, they, escribir in English? Right. What? In past? No wrote, uh, they wrote a noche, it would be? Last night. Last night. Last night, exactly, okay. Y miren, ahí pues ya tenemos otra oración. We have subject, uh, then we have the verb in past wrote and uh, the time expression. Les voy a mandar ahorita una, una aplicación que a mí me encanta para los verbos, okay. Les recomiendo que la descarguen. ¿Por qué? Porque miren, el, en, en, ahí se las acabo de mandar en WhatsApp, ¿ok? If you want to download it, that's amazing. Eh, I love it because you have like this. No sé si la pueden ver. Ay, no se puede ver. Pero bueno, básicamente les aparecen todos los verbos. No, no sé, mire. Es que la creo. 
Y si yo pierdo. Ok, tienen todos los verbos más o menos ahí se mira, ok. Y, y cuando los presionan, suenan. Todos los panos Ok, dice la correcta pronunciación de cada verbo, ok. Entonces, se, les recomiendo que la descarguen, ok. If you can. Entonces, eh, porque solo se presiona. Aquí, miren. Ok. So, that will help you with the pronunciation. Les ayudará con la pronunciación. O si quieren buscar la pronunciación de algún verbo, lo escriben arriba. Por ejemplo, read. Lo escriben y ya les aparece ahí. Y aquí, miren. En todos los tiempos lo pronuncia el tipo, dependiendo del tiempo que quieran, para el presente, el pasado o el pasado participio, porque para el futuro pues le va a servir también. Ok. <coughs> so, yes, you can download it. Eh, it's in iOS y en Android. Está en los dos, por si quieren, ok. Está en todos, en, 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 en Android y en iOS. So, if you want it, ok. It will help you a lot. Le va a ayudar bastante, ok. Now, questions. Do we have any questions so far? And um, right there, uh, when we were watching the verbs, cuando estábamos viviendo los verbos, este, como pudieron notar, por ejemplo, tenemos el wa, el, I mean, el verbo to be en pasado sería was y was, where. where. Remember that That's verb clear. to be, exactly. Verb to be, it's used to express age, nationalities, names, right? Recuerden que el verbo to be, pues, es, es utilizado para expresar nombres, edades, nacionalidades, profesiones, right? Ahora bien, cuando utilizamos el was? En professions, nationalities, feelings, like happy. Okay. Now, was, wait, I'm gonna mute you for a little bit. Lo voy a silenciar un ratito, chicos, ok? For example, el was, lo vamos a utilizar con el she, he, y, y el I, ¿verdad? El where, lo vamos a utilizar con they, you, we, y el otro, you, vea. Yes. Entonces, recuerden que con estos yo quiero expresar, ah, yo estaba feliz, yo estaba en metro, yo estaba en, metro, yo estaba en, en San Salvador, ok, whatever. For example, you can say, I, uy, I was in San Salvador, ok. Or maybe you can say, he was Sad, ok. Y mire, yo primero en este caso expresé que estaba en un lugar, vea, porque es el verbo to be en pasado nada más. Y también pues, pude expresar un sentimiento que en este caso es sad, ok. O también puede ser con el where, for example, we can say they were, hmm, they were. Teachers, ok, they were teachers. Ellos fueron docentes o profesores, ok. And look, we have subject, then we have where, and then we have something to complement here. Yeah, so I wanted to explain you that just to clarify. I don't know if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. Questions so far? Are we good? Are we good? Question. Yes, Miss Abigail Mejia. Because we are going to do practice right now. No questions, Miss Abigail. No question, teacher. Ah, I thought you say a question. Okay, let's see. Let's practice a little bit, everybody, okay? Vamos a practicar un poco, okay? Let's start. Hmm. Mr. Mauricio, let's see this one. I have some sentences. Tengo algunas oraciones, okay? Y usted yeah. me va a decir cuál es el verbo que creo que usted que va ahí, okay? So here, my father... Mm. 
work. Oh, okay. Work? Work. Walk. Work. Okay, let's see. Ay, no. Wait a second, Mr. Sorry. <laughs> se, me, se me skip you. Wait a second. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know why. Quiero ver. No, the thing, mister, I know why. It was a mistake, so no, it's not walk. No walk. No okay. walk. It's another when? word. Yes, exactly. Wait. What? It's not giving me the answer. Like that. When? My, uh, my, can you read the sentence, please, Mr. Mauricio? My father went to the work of food last Monday. Exactly, thank you. Let's see next one. Miss Rebecca, help me please here. Walk. Okay. W. Okay. Let's see if it is W. Um, mm. Yay! Can you read the sentence? Richard walked his dog in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yes, thank you. Let's see next one. Let's see Miss Abigail Mejia. Help me, Miss. Miss Abigail Mejia? I think, teacher. Oh, you're thinking. Okay, okay. ¿Qué está haciendo? Um, está, yo creo que... Sleep. My brother sleep in class. No. No, Miss. A sleep es que la palabra que está ahí es de que dormirse. Solo falta algo por ahí. Was. Um, uh -huh. Oh, okay. Was? Okay. No, it's not oh. was. Ay, nos volvió para el inicio. Ay, Dios mío, ¿qué? Ajá, yes. God. ¿Ah? Get. 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 God. No, God. otra vez nos volvimos a orcar. <laughs> Walk. 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 W-A. No. Oh. Sorry, mister. Slept. Slept. No. <laughs> ya lo mataron un montón de veces. Ah, ¿Eh? ah no. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm, take. Okay, en el pasado no sé cómo es. No. Oh. Ah. Took. Took. No, pero es not took. It's not took. I'm gonna give you an, an idea. It's elf. Start with F. I'm sorry. Como caer dormido, pero ah, como fall. 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 Okay. Ah, fall. I'm sorry. It's not fall. 
It would be fail. Oh, it's fail. It's fold it's step. Okay, so it's can you help me to read this one, please? Mrs. Esmeralda, this uh, um sentence, please. Yes, Miss Abigail. I can participate. Oh, you can? Okay, help me then. Me? My brother <laughs> fell. I slept in class yesterday. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So here, fell asleep. Okay. Caerse dormido. Okay. Fell asleep. That's why. Let's see another one. This one. Can you help me with this one now, Mr. Juan Jose? Tell me, what do you think is the verb here? Study it. Okay. Let's see. Studied. Yay! Can you read the sentence, please, Mister? Old sentence. My friend Joe studied hard for his math test. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go next one, Miss Michelle. What do you think here? Vote. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see if it is. Yes, can you read the sentence, please, Miss Michelle? Yes, my uncle bought his Christmas gifts of the weekend. Yes, thank you. Let's see next one. Miss Sandra, do you, do you participate? Miss Sandra? Okay, no. So, Mr. Jorge Antonio? What do you think is the verb here? It went. Okay, can you, okay. It's w. Okay, let's see if it is W. No! <laughs> Mr. No, it's not. Another one? Finish. Okay, let's see, finish. Oh, it has an F, but it's not finish. Finish it. Mm, let's see, vamos a ver con una I, no. <laughs> Pero tiene una F. E. An E? e. Yeah. E. Left. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. Very good. Thank you. Mr. Jorge Antonio, can you read the sentence, please? Samuel left the school at one yesterday. Exactly. Left irse, verdad? So, very good. Let's see this one. Help me, please, Miss Lady. <laughs> then. Uh -huh. What do you think? Drunk. Mm, drunk. Drunk. Yes, very good. Let's see. Uy, no, me, me, me salí. Let's see. No. Oh, I can see pass. It's A. Can you read the sentence, please, Miss? Miss? Miss Lady? They drank too much at the body. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Okay, let's see. Uh, me falta? Who is missing that hasn't participated? Miss Rebecca, are you, do you participate? Yes. Oh, okay. So, okay. Don't worry. That's okay. Now, uh, what is the activity that we are going to be doing during this unit? ¿Qué es la actividad que vamos a estar haciendo durante toda esta unidad? Para ver si están poniendo atención y si nos vamos aprendiendo los verbos. Por eso les dije que hoy les iba a dejar tarea extra. La tarea era que básicamente bajaran la aplicación, pero acabo de ver que algunos de ustedes me acaban, bueno, mis, una misma me escribió, bueno, mis Esmeralda me escribió que ella sí no puede descargar la aplicación, no sé quién más no puede. Mi teacher. Ok, ¿qué le parece, mister? Eh, ¿Qué le parece? ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué teléfono es, mister? ¿Un, un Huawei? Um. 
No, es un Note. ¿Una Note? ¿Samsung? Sí, sí. Pero yes. sí, en la Samsung sí se puede, mister. Porque okay. de hecho esa aplicación es de Samsung, no es de iOS, pero en iOS se adaptó, gracias a Dios. Entonces, okay. yes, porque antes no se podía. Ya es robar. Voy a probar de nuevo. Ok, try it, mister. Si no, igual ahorita les voy a mandar unos verbos, ok. ¿Y qué es lo que vamos a hacer? El jueves en adelante, yo le voy a, de repente le voy a decir, oh, Michelle, what is the pass for play? Michelle, what is the pass for play? Play it. Ajá. Miss Rebecca, what is the pass for win? Won. Exactly, very good. Mr. Juan José, what is the pass for right? Right. Exactly. Let's see, Miss Abigail Bonilla, what is the pass for read? Right. Hey. Right. Mm -hmm. Teacher, a question. No, Miss, wait, 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 wait. What is the pass for read? Red. Ah, me dijo road, no. Ah. <laughs> tell me, tell me, Miss. ¿Cuál es la question? Yes. question. Tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama la aplicación? Se llama, no sé, güey. <laughs> bueno, sé que a mí ya le mando el nombre. Es que es English Regular Verb, se llama. Es que al principio sale. Déjeme cargarlo una vez más. Ay, no, se me pasa muy rápido, Miss. Se llama English Regular Verbs, porque solo hay verbos irregulares ahí, vea. Entonces, básicamente lo que haces es que le das clic al verbo y ya te dice la pronunciación. Está súper chiva. Yeah, it will help you a lot. Les va a ayudar bastante porque están todos, hasta el significado en español está. Ya. Yeah. Eh, pero se llama English. Lo voy a volver a mandar aquí el nombre porque no me sale, no me deja verlos. English Irregular Verbs. Ahí está, Miss. Ahí busca la. Ya la encontré. Es que okay. lo he buscado como big was where. No, 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 no. Búsquela como English irregular verbs. I find. I found it. Ok, great. Mr. Mauricio, búsquela usted también así. Sí, solo, pues a mi general, la que es, es que wow, es bien raro porque Huawei casi siempre agarra todo, Miss. Ver, ver irregular. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Del inglés. Yes, exactly. Ok. Miss Esmeralda, dígame. Como no tienen los servicios de, de Google. Y no, pero se pueden descargar, Miss. Yo vea todo, hackeando <risa> todo. <risa> no, pues sí, yo sé que sí se puede, Miss. Pero no sé cómo, sinceramente, ya no me acuerdo porque I have a, a, a Huawei before, pero no me acuerdo cómo se hace. Hay una, no sé si es de Google que se hace. ¿Alguien me ayuda? ¿Quién, quién, quién le puede ayudar a la mía ahí? Play Store. Ah, en la Play, Play Store. Store, la tiene que descargar, ¿verdad? ¿O cómo es? No la tiene instalada. Yes. No, Play Store instalada, en todos los teléfonos que los trae. Solo no, lo pero... busca por el nombre y la encuentra. No, pero es que el Huawei no trae descargada la Play Store. Creo que la mm. tienen que descargar, ¿verdad, mister? Mm. No se más? puede, teacher. Huawei sí, se, 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 se desvinculó yeah. con, con, con Google. Yo lo que entiendo es que con Pero Google... tiene una, una gallery, no sé cómo se llama. Ah, ahí la busqué y no la encontré. Y me fui para, para el buscador de Google uh -huh. por el internet y fue que me salió eso de que... Que no, que no está disponible, le parece a ella. Pero porque tiene el Huawei, pero I don't, I'm not sure. Yo entiendo de que ustedes tienen, cuando, cuando el Huawei, yo me recuerdo que es que tienes que descargar la Play Store y ahí te da para descargar cualquier app. Que se supone que Huawei es better, Miss. Es mejor que todos. Los... <risa> yes, entonces se supone que se puede descargar hasta iOS. Ahí en, en su... En su... Pero mis amiga Irma Mejía, ajá, ese, ese es Miss, amiga Irma Mejía. Pero ese como es Samsung, entonces ahí está bien. Pero con esto, o busque inglés divino, mis. Tal vez le parece, porque así dice que. <risa> yeah, mis. Porque sí, está very helpful. Si no, pues, bueno, igual, como les dije, de repente le puede estar preguntando los verbos. Tratemos de ver algunos verbos de esa lista o la, la lista que les acabo de enviar, ¿ok? It would be very helpful. Les va a ayudar y les va a funcionar para el, pues, el futuro. ¿Ok? Questions. We have any questions right now? Okay, 
I think, no question, we have this class clear as water, as water to drink, not as water of horchata. So here, before we continue, mm -hmm. we have we have some questions, well, so sentences, sorry. So we are going to do it, to read them. Can you help me to read, please, Mr. Jorge Antonio, pass of B, please. Pass of B. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. Mm -hmm. The agent was very helpful. Mm -hmm. We were on our page, mm -hmm. our page. Our page. We were excited about service. Exactly. Very good. Next one. Simple pass with other verbs. Okay. Ahora vamos con algunos ejemplos del simple pass, pero con otros verbos. Help me to read them, please, Miss Abigail Mejia. Simple pass, teacher. Yes, please. Simple past. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I gave my account's information. Mm -hmm. He called yesterday at night. Mm -hmm. The program worked well. Mm -hmm. They bought that product last week. Exactly. Very good, Miss. As you can see here, we have the verb be in past that it was wasn't where. And then, for example, here with other verbs, y ahí tenemos con otros verbos, como por ejemplo, gave. Gave is regular or irregular, everybody? Irregular. 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 Very good. Call? Regular. Regular. Uh -huh. Worked? Regular. Regular. And but? Regular. Irregular. 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 Very good. Okay. Now, in the next practice that we have over here in exercise number five, it says that we have to order and write the correct sentence for the past. For example, here we have number one, I. It would be in past, I. The past for B. Irregular. Was. Was. Uh -huh. Interested. Interested. In the product. Yeah. Let's say it, in the product. Number three, I mean, number two, sorry. You? Bro. You oh, bought. Bought. You bought, bought. Uh -huh. the, the, uh, the item in December. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, let's try with three, four, five, and six, please. Vamos a intentarlo con las oraciones three, four, five, and six. And for this, I'm gonna give you two minutes. Le voy a dar dos minutos para que las hagan, please. Let's work. Two minutes, okay? Let's do the practice, two minutes. Are we ready or not yet?
Okay. Um, so number two, number three, sorry, she. She was read the poem. She was, are you sure? What's the password read? What's read. The... Read. 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 Uh -huh. She read the? Policies. Policies, exactly. Number four, the supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Give me a discount. Give uh -huh. me a discount. Ahí ya les habían dado la, la respuesta. <laughs> that, that was easy. Uh -huh. Number five, they... Sent, 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 sent the uh -huh. contract to my email. Contract to my email. Mm -hmm. To my email. Very good. Number six... He was, he was disappointed. disappointed. Exactly. He was excellent. Check them out. He was he was disappointed. Disappointed. There we have it. Do we have them like that? Si las tienen, you guys? Yes, correct. Correct. Amazing. Great. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move on. Vamos a continuar. And for this, now I am going to do attendance section. Voy a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente, okay? Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you, Andrea Amalia. Dania Lisbeth. Dilcia Jamilet. Miss Dilcia, oh, se retiró. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco Ernesto. Ahí está. Thank you, eh, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, eh, José Ezequiel. Juan José. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Okay, thank you, Miss. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Vigail. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michel. Present. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue. And, um, okay, so you already did it. JC Simons is a practical. Okay, now what are you going to do? Uh, since we, I already explained to you. Wait, let me go with my whiteboard because I need it. Wait a second, un segundo, chicos. Okay. Okay, here. Okay, so as I told you before, with the sentences where we need a subject, como les mencionaba anteriormente, pues para crear nuestras oraciones, primero necesitamos un sujeto, like for example, we, and then we need a verb. Can you remember to me one verb in past, please? ¿Me pueden recordar un verbo en pasado, please? We? Danced. Okay, we danced last night. In Halloween, no, just kidding. Okay, we danced last night, okay? Okay, that's a irregular verb, as you can see. Now, can you remember an irregular verb? They, uh -huh. Buy, bro, bo. Bought, exactly, bought. they bought, what, mister? They bought a PS5. Uh, a PS5, <laughs> okay, that's great. A PS5 last month, okay? So, there we have it. Ahí, te, ahí tenemos otro tipo, ¿verdad? Y eh, como pueden ver, sujeto, después tenemos nuestro verbo en pasado, que ahora pues ya tenemos una lista ahí en el grupo y al mismo tiempo tenemos, pues, o si no, la aplicación, ¿verdad? And then we complete it with something else y después la complementamos con algo más, right? That's for creating the sentence, right? Eso es para crear las, nuestras, nuestras oraciones, ¿verdad? So what are we going to do right now? I want you to think about yesterday, okay? About the day of yesterday, okay? What are you going to do? I want you to write three sentences about your day, okay, of yesterday. For example, for me, what did I do yesterday? Okay, I, I ate pupusas. Well, today I ate pupusas in the morning, but anyways, I ate pupusas, I, I, taught English, okay, 
And also, I drove to my job, okay? So those are three activities that I did yesterday. Okay, I did yesterday, sorry. Okay, so I want you to think of three activities and write them down. When you write them down, I want you to send them in the chat, okay? Quiero que los envíen en el chat. Oh, Miss Abigail. Ah, no, pero esas son las respuestas. Now you have to send them in the chat, okay? So let's try it, please. Three sentences about your day yesterday, okay? Acerca de su día, el día de ayer. So let's try it, please. Su día, tres cosas, three sentences using subject, a very past, and a complement with something, okay? For this, I'm gonna give you four minutes so you can work on this. Le puedo dar cuatro minutos para que puedan trabajar, okay? In this one. Finish or not yet, everybody? Oh, Mr. Juan Jose, thank you. And thank you, Miss Esmeralda, too. Ray. What movie, Mr. Second War movie. <laughs> <laughs> Second World movie? Where, mister? Where do you watch the movie? Where? By, by Netflix. Ah, really? It's a Netflix? I don't see much Netflix, but I have Netflix. <laughs> but I'm gonna watch it. Miss Esmeralda, watch, lavar, or mirar? Which one of the two, Miss Esmeralda? Watch it. Ah, so watch. Watch Netflix and I went to the gym yesterday. Really? That's great, Miss. And also, Jim, oh, visited my parents last month. Amazing. Thank you, Miss Esmeralda. What gym, Miss? <laughs> or what do you why watching Netflix? Let's see, next one, it would be Mr. Mauricio. I, hmm, I was play, porque I was play, mister? Te ju jugué. Entonces solo sería played, 
Pleire. No, ajá. Oh, okay. No hay necesidad de agregar, porque ahí me está, ajá, porque me está diciendo dos verbos, si se da dos cuenta. Dos ah, Ajá, entonces ah. sería I play. Y el, las Pleire. otras dos están perfect, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. No problem, very good job, thank you. Hmm, Miss Lady, is it correct drink or drunk? Drunk. Ah. Lo corregí después. Uh, oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, it's true here. I saw it right now. Okay, great. But the rest is perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Next one, Miss Michelle. An email. Email. I wrote an email for the me meeting. The union. Meeting, yes. Okay, so it would be this one. Meeting. A movie. She saw a movie. I mean, I, I saw a movie and I read a book about, about love. What movie do you watch, Miss? ¿Qué, qué película, Miss? Harry Potter. Oh, great, me. That's amazing. I love Harry Potter. Mr. Jorge, thank you. I, what did, Mr. Are you a doctor, Mr. Because I... I don't understand the first verb. <laughs> Are you a doctor, Mr. Tell us the truth. I, Mr. Jorge? Run. I what? Run. Ah, run. Sorry. <laughs> Yo leí rat. I'm sorry. I ran yesterday. Very good. I saw TV yesterday in the night. I went to work. Es que así escriben los engineers y los doctors. Ya los identifiqué. Engineers and doctors write like that. Miss Sandra, are you an engineer, mister? Or no? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what, what is your occupation, mister? I am a production manager. Ah, so yes, so that's why. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Thank you, Mr. Very good. Okay. I went to breakfast with my best friend. Very good, Miss Sandra. Thank you. I, but the last one, I wrote. So it would be I wrote. Yes, the chair. the finish. Uh huh, okay. Thank you. I'm missing some of you. Me faltan algunos de ustedes. Let's see, me falta Miss... Miss Abigail. Oh, no, ya se me salió Miss Abigail. So I think everybody sent them then. Oh, no, que me mandó alguien. Oh, yeah, right there. I was check. Are you sure I was check or I check? Y las demás están bien, mis. Porque eh, solo recordemos que no podemos poner I was y después otro verbo. ¿Por qué? Porque sería como doble verbo. Y recordemos que son simple past. Son oraciones simples en el pasado. Entonces, básicamente, pues solo decimos o oh, I was o I check, o puede decir I play, o I was, ok, but we cannot use all of them, ok, mm -hmm. no podemos utilizar dos, ok, questions so far, eso después ya lo hicimos, any questions, or no questions, we are good, questions, Miss Michelle, what is the passport drink? Drunk. Ah, very good. Miss Sandra, what is the passport cry? Repeat, teacher. What is the passport cry? Yeah. Lo vimos al inicio de la clase. Mm -hmm. Cry. Cry, cry, cry. Cry. Cry, exactly. Cry. Thank you. Se le agrega ED, right? Let's see next one. Mi Rebeca, what is the passport? A stay. A state. Yes, very good. Mr. Mauricio, what is the passport? 
Read. Read. Exactly. Let's see, Miss Esmeralda, what is the passport? Uh, right. Right. Right, 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 right. Road. Yes, very good. Okay, so like that, I'm going to be asking you, okay? Así le voy a estar preguntando. So please, please review the verbs. Por favor, repasemos esos verbos, okay? Porque son esenciales para todas las oraciones. If we want to talk about the past, si queremos hablar sobre el pasado, okay? So they are very, very important. And now, just to finish, solo para terminar, I have this worship that it was supposed to be in groups, but we are going to do it together. Vamos a hacerla juntos, okay? Para practicar, okay? So number one, can you help me with number one, please, Mr. Mauricio? What do you think is the sentence? My, my sister studies mm -hmm. in, in the layman. In past? Because past. it's, uh-huh, the past. Study, study. Yes, very good. Number two, Miss... Uh, Abigail Mejia, help me please, number two. My father finished mm -hmm. her cereal. Cereal. Finished. Mira, ahí está malo porque dice my father y después dice her. Yes, his. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a mistake. Let's see, Miss Esmeralda, number three. Mm, I cooled the lunch yesterday. Yes, thank you. Miss Sandra, next one. Number four. The cats play with, with this toy mouse. Very good. Number five. Miss Rebecca. She answered all that question in her tongue. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Jorge Antonio. Number six. My family traveled to mm -hmm. Cusco in 2017. Yes, amazing. Thank you, Mr. Juan Jose. Number seven. Los Incas used coca to cure diseases. Diseases, yes. Enferma, enfermedades, diseases, right? Very good. Thank you. Let's go now with Miss Lady. Next one, number eight. Katy Perry visit Machu Picchu in 2015. Yes, excellent. Next one, it would be Miss Michelle, number one in the next section. My teacher was mm -hmm. a, a university student in the 20. I don't know. 14, 14. 14. Okay. Yes, 20. a university está mal escrito. I know I see. <laughs> so sorry for that. Sorry. Let's see next one. Volunteer to help me with the next one. Number two. I am sad. I'm sad because the bro uh, broke uh -huh. my bike. Excellent. Next one. Number three. Volunteers. Lila felt sore when her dad had a car accident. Exactly. Next one. My brother. My brother got very late yesterday. Yes, very good. Five, my mom. What's the passport loose? ¿Cuál es el pasado para Luz? Lost. Uh -huh, lost. lost. Her keys last week. And then number six, my friends. Red. 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 Paco Junque last year. Let's say answers. Very good. Just travel. Okay. This, uh, let me tell you about this verb. Let's voy a explicar un poco acerca de travel. Travel is considered one regular verb that we have to double the L. Se supone que en esta de travel se tiene que duplicar la L. Pero en algunas ocasiones. Porque yo lo he visto de las dos maneras. Lo he visto sí, con una L y lo he visto con doble L. Pero both are correct. Las dos están correctamente de acuerdo con el diccionario de la Academia Europea de English in this case, in Spanish and all of that is correct, ok, está correcto, se puede utilizar, ok, so either of the two you can use it, pero también lo van a ver con doble L, and that's correct, ok, 
If you look for it, si lo buscan, lo van a encontrar con doble L y lo van a encontrar con una L. So, okay, so don't worry, it's perfect. Questions so far? Questions, questions, or no questions? Okay, if you don't have any more questions, we are going to stay here. Remember that tomorrow we don't have classes. We, ca we have classes on Thursday, okay? Thank you everybody for coming to today's class. Gracias a todos por venir a la clase del día de ahora. I'll hope to see you on Thursday, okay? Bye-bye. Work in the platform. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Be safe Goodbye, tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Take everybody. care. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.